Ja Morant is undeniably an absolute force on the court. His explosive dunks, jaw-dropping crossovers, and insane court vision have left us all in awe. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows for this young sensation. Nope, not even close. Some NBA players downright despise him. Yep, they can't stand his swagger, his trash talk, and his slick moves. So today, we're pulling back the curtain to uncover why NBA players have developed this burning hatred for Ja. There's no denying Ja's electrifying skills, but it seems that for some, his charisma is a bit too much to handle. Some think he's got too much mouth and not enough substance, and let's not forget all those infamous celebrations, the gritty. Some players see it as plain old showboating and disrespect, but after all, shouldn't you reserve those flashy moves for when you've earned your stripes? But opinions are like jump shots, everyone's got one. So are NBA players just hating on Ja for no reason, or does he genuinely rub people the wrong way? Sit back and join me as we dig deep into the heated rivalry and juicy drama that's making waves in the NBA. Now let's get real for a second. Ja's got undeniable talent on the court. This kid is only 23 years old, but he's already tearing up the league like a seasoned veteran, from winning Rookie of the Year to becoming an All-Star and snatching the Most Improved Player Award. Ja's rise has been nothing short of legendary. Ja's got a whole lot of sauce. He's brash, unapologetic, and speaks his mind without holding back. No filter, no sugarcoating, just pure, raw honesty. And you know what? That's got some folks in the league raising their eyebrows. Ja has got a whole army of haters out there, folks. They can't seem to keep their mouth shut when it comes to this young baller. Hate him or love him, you can't deny that Ja's got game. The dude's a beast on the hardwood, and his court vision is on another level. And let's talk about that swag. Oh man, you can spot Ja's confidence from a mile away. Whether he's dunking on defenders or hyping up his team from the sidelines, he brings that unique flair that keeps us all glued to our screens. Now, I get it. Ja Morant isn't everyone's cup of tea. Some say he talks too much, dances too much, and heck, maybe they're even jealous of his lightning flash moves on the court. But none of that takes away from the fact that he is an absolute baller. In fact, it fuels his fire even more. Ja's not backing down. He's standing tall and staying true to himself. Love him or hate him, he's got no plans of changing his style to please critics. And honestly, I respect that. So here's the million dollar question. Can the haters bring down the rising star? Not a chance. If anything, it's adding fuel to the Morant fire. He thrives on proving doubters wrong and he's got a whole lot of game to back it up. On an episode of The Pivot Podcast, Morant came clean about the heat he's been catching for being himself. He said, and I quote, I feel like now just because I'm me and I speak on whatever I want to and say what I'm feeling at the same time, that some people don't like me. So that's why I bust their ass. You gotta admire that confidence, right? He's saying, hey, if you got a problem with me, then bring it on the court. And trust me, that's no easy task because this kid's got skills for days. Now, flashback to two years ago and the Memphis Grizzlies were the lovable, scrappy underdogs. They had the never say die attitude, the grits and grind of champions, even without the fancy accolades to show for it. A real life fake it until you make it story. And boy, did we love them for it. But oh, how the tables have turned. Fast forward to the 2022-23 NBA season, and the Grizzlies are a different breed. The talented squad, led by none other than John Morant, has become, well, let's just say mouthy doesn't even begin to cover it. Now, you know how it goes in sports. Feelings shift, perceptions change, and teams ride the roller coaster of love and hate based on their performance. But here's the kicker it's usually not so black and white. Sometimes all it takes is a bit too much of praise to turn those cheers into jeers. This season, the Grizzlies seemed to embrace the role of the villain. They fed off the negativity like they were craving it. The result? Well, it wasn't pretty. Suddenly, their on-court talents took a back seat to their over-the-top shenanigans, and it didn't sit well with the fans or the critics. 
It's like they traded in their hardworking image for a new kind of grit and grind, one filled with questionable behavior and smack talk. And let me tell you, it backfired big time. Don't get me wrong, John Morant is an absolute stud. The guy's got skills for days and there's no denying his potential. But it's that whole too cool for school attitude that's got people scratching their heads. Ja's got undeniable talent on the court, but lately his career story seems to be headed down a dangerous path, and it's not just his doing. Oh no, there are characters around him who fail to see the consequences of their own actions. You see, it's more than just basketball for Ja. It's about the image he projects, the choices he makes, and the people he surrounds himself with. But in some cases, those closest to him seem to be adding fuel to the fire. Remember that incident with Shannon Sharp in the 2022-23 season? Yeah, that was a major dust-up and it wasn't solely because of Ja. His father, T. Morant, played a part in escalating things, and that's not where it ended. Later, there were more confrontations with players from the Indiana Pacers, causing tension beyond the court. T. seems to enjoy the trash talking, the bravado, and the hugs afterward but he may not realize that his actions have consequences. They can have serious repercussions for Ja's career and reputation. And it's not just his father. Ja's friend also got in trouble, getting banned and escorted out of an arena for engaging in confrontations with the Pacers. It's a slippery slope and these actions are starting to catch up with Ja. There have been serious allegations swirling around the young point guard from assault and threats with guns to reckless behavior in public. These incidents can't be brushed under the rug. They're threatening his future in the league. And we all know that he's going to miss the first 25 games in the 2023-24 season. Simply when he'll be back, some will have forgotten about him. Josh still has a chance to turn things around, but he needs to be mindful of who he lets into his inner circle. Supportive and responsible individuals can make all the difference in keeping him on the right path. Grizzlies Let me tell you something. The Grizzlies talk a lot of shit. And you know what? That's what makes them fun. They don't care who they're facing, LeBron, the Warriors, or anyone. They go all in with their trash talk, and they don't hold back. But hey, here's the other side of the coin. Talking smack does come with a price. It's how you get opposing teams and fan bases to dislike you. And you know what? That's the way it is. Ja Morant's been catching some heat for his comments, but let's keep it real. They brought some of it upon themselves. When you run your mouth as much as the Grizzlies do, and you haven't bagged that championship yet, it's going to stir up some animosity. And let's not forget about Dylan Brooks. The guy's got that edge, that gritty style of play, and sometimes it's not all sunshine and rainbows. He might be stirring the pot with some of his on-court antics, but hey, that's just part of the game. Not too long ago was the Memphis Grizzlies crying out for more attention, especially on the national stage. And you know what? They got it. When you're winning, people are going to talk about you, good and bad. But now, Jaws all like, why is this spotlight so negative? Well, that's how it goes. When you're on a massive winning streak, yeah, we'll praise those viral dunks and celebrate your team's success, but when you hit a rough patch and lose eight of nine games, Oh, that's going to get some airtime too. Now, Ja wonders if the Grizzlies are the most hated team in the NBA. Well, I don't know. They got some stiff competition with the Lakers and the Celtics, that's for sure. But let's be honest, the Grizzlies have risen to the hate charts pretty fast. They went from this young and fun upcoming team to one that's got some serious beef with everyone. And you know what? they kind of brought it upon themselves with their actions on and off the court. Here's the thing, people don't exactly hate young teams like the Cavs, Kings, Pelicans, or Thunder the same way they do the Grizzlies. Why the sudden beef with so many folks? Well, let's not beat around the bush here. The Grizzlies have had their fair share of controversies this season. From Ja Morant's fiery on-court attitude to his off-court legal issues, and let's not forget Dylan Brooks and his antics, this team is a real roller coaster of emotions. But amidst all the hate and controversy, let's not lose sight of their talent and the progress they've made. John Morant is already a force to be reckoned with, and their defensive game is on point thanks to Jaron Jackson Jr. Look, we love the Grizzlies, we really do. John Morant is a baller, and their rise has been amazing to witness. But hey, 
With great attention comes great responsibility. Embrace the spotlight, the good and the bad, and keep your focus on the game. So while the Grizzlies might be the most hated team in the NBA this year, and Ja is among the hated players, let's also remember that they're one of the best in the NBA. Make sure to stay tuned and be part of the conversation. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on Ja and the Grizzlies, so don't hesitate to share your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.